previous episodes of Life is Strange. Whoa! They called film Little Pieces of Time. Because Max wants everybody to see I'm how so hip she is. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! Don't ever touch me again, freak! It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> You're going to be sorry someday. And there she is. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Let's talk about your superpower. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. You're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? You want me to cut you, bitch? Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Please, get me out of here! Max! Nobody cares about me. Nobody. <laughs> What are you doing here, Max? Now, I know today was difficult for everybody. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Please, tell us everything. What the hell is this? Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week. I knew Chloe would be all over this, so I better get moving. I still can't stop thinking about Kate. It's like I'm awake in a bad dream.
How did Sherlock Holmes deduce anything without the internet? Glad the media doesn't waste a second exploiting tragedy. Now Kate's family has to see their daughter's death all over the web like a cat video. And I'm even in this one. Oh, that makes me ill. Hmm. Besides Rachel, it's been a while since anybody vanished from Arcadia Bay. I shouldn't sound so disappointed. This is such a moving piece of cut and paste black robe bullshit. Nobody here had Kate's back. Too little, too late. Yes, now everybody loves Kate Marsh. They bullied her and now post their feels? Hypocrites. Now David will get a taste of public surveillance. Either I delete my page or I block everybody. Nowhere to hide these days. Everybody will be talking about Kate now. Blackwell might as well shut down for the next month. See, Lisa? At least I kept you alive. Guess I'm better with plants than people. There's been so much going on, I almost forgot about the eclipse. All this atmospheric action can't be a coincidence. Hey, Bunny, don't be too bummed, but... From now on, I'm your new mommy. Are you a hungry bunny? Here, nosh on this. Kate, I swear I will use all of my power to find out who really pushed you off that roof. You know you're hurting when you don't give a shit about music. Jeepers, I am so freaking tired. I sound like a moron. But crime does not delay. I need to stay on top of this investigation. Come on, Max. No more tears. You have to act, not react.
Pretty hard to focus on my class schedule this week. I wonder why. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be... Where the hell are you, Rachel Amber? That's a depressing thought. And it's always about Victoria. I hope Kate finally has her wings now. So much hypocrite. It's like some awful TV crime scene in our dorm. This is my prayer for you, Kate. Bless your gentle soul. Kate, I would give up my power if I could have another rewind to save you. I won't rest until we find out the truth and somebody pays for this. The end of the world might be coming before your party. I feel like you're guiding us along, but where? I hope Victoria feels particularly shitty about posting that link. Hey Max, I, I saw you go up on the roof to try to help Kate. I can't believe she jumped. I can. I just wish I could have stopped her. Are you okay? I'm just like, numb. I, I've never seen anybody actually die. Me neither. I didn't think you'd be so upset considering how much shit you and Victoria gave Kate. I'm my own person, not Victoria's bitch. Hello, like she's freaking too. She already broke curfew tonight. <gasps> shit, I'm not supposed to tell anybody. Where did she go? I know I can trust you since you were so nice asking about my mom in the hospital, but Victoria will, like, make my life hell if I blab, okay? No doubt. I do hope your mother gets better. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks. You're, like, weird, but pretty cool, Max. Especially after watching you go up on that roof. Victoria's wrong about you. Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Talk to you later. I know. Victoria must be upset since I saw her sneaking out of the dorm past curfew. Oh man, like, you saw her? She was so, like, nervous when she left the dorm. She wouldn't even tell me where she was going. Probably to hell. Well, I have to go crash. <laughs> it's been a rough day, as you know. Thanks, Max. And I hope you're okay, too. You were the only one who tried to save Kate. Victoria was wrong about you. Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Talk to you later. Jeez, Taylor actually seems concerned about Kate. Nobody can blame this poster for Kate's death. Oh, Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Going through her shit. Since I've crossed the line from Snoop to Detective, I might as well search for clues about what really happened to Kate at the Vortex Club party. Victoria is about as straight as me. 
but she really appreciates style. Whoa, I had no idea Victoria's parents owned the Chase space. Color me impressed. A unique point of view is right, thanks to Courtney Wagner ghostwriting this paper. First Rachel and now Kate? This is the end of the Vortex Club. There has to be some dirt in here on Victoria. Well, well, maybe Victoria isn't a monster after all. Maybe Victoria isn't a monster after all. That's a lot of bank just to clean paint from a sweater. Victoria's secret, she's a geek. Here they are getting loaded with Satan. I'll title this one, Portrait de la Assholes. Whoa, there's Kate. Totally high. She looks confused. Not like she's partying. These socks cost more than my wardrobe. Those boots are made for walking runways. My cookies? Victoria stole my cookies. Now I can't take- <sighs> Nothing to see here. I guess I shouldn't be so bummed. Not that Victoria couldn't hide her shit. Man, <sighs> I'm getting paranoid. My cookies? Victoria stole my cookies. <sighs> now I can't take them back because she'll know I did it. <sighs> Victoria's a cookie monster. I bet you'll party like it's 1999. Assholes. Yes, I am going to find you, Rachel. Hey. For Chloe and Kate. Come here. Dana's really hurting over this. Dana looks so sad. Even though she's trying not to show it. Hey, Dana. How are you doing? I just can't stop thinking about Kate. And if this is my fault, too. I knew she was depressed, but I had no idea how bad. Must be serious to throw yourself off the roof. Kate was serious. But it's not all about that video. So what exactly are you saying, Max? Do you think David Madsen is involved? He finally got his ass busted too. I'm not sure yet, but I'm on it. Weird shit is going down at Blackwell. And I'm going to find out why. I'm getting scared now. But people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherlock? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. Dana clearly doesn't mind if I peruse her laptop. Aw, Trevor is a sweetie. Good for Dana.
If Dana talks to Juliet about this, she's going to wish she didn't. Yes, the Vortex Club does indeed suck. This is both sad and pathetic. That is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween party. So Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. Jesus. I still can't believe she jumped. Everywhere I go, I can see how I'm altering history. Big and small. It's unlocked. I hope Samuel isn't around. Who knew Samuel was so into runway fashion? I know Samuel doesn't wear silky scarves. So who does? the lens and say nut. Gotcha. The Chibanga does look pretty scary at night. Please don't destroy me. Maybe Samuel should fix that lamp. Kate is dead and I'm sneaking around. This campus looks like a cemetery.
invisible wells. Are you serious? I'm toast if he sees me. He's lucky nobody else saw him like that. Except me. Max the ninja strikes again. 